Hey, what's up? Sixtelio here, and I'm just doing a update video on the uh, 4G for AT&T Galaxy S3 on T-Mobile USA's network. As you can see right there, I'm getting 2G Edge right now. And um, yeah, if you watched my last video, which I'm just gonna upload this video in the comments to that one. Um, yeah. So eventually, the data will actually go away and go back down to 2G or just you know, not be there at all. Um, the 4G data should last you at least like 30 minutes to an hour and a half, somewhere around there. Um, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't actually left my house since I made that video and figured this out. But um, anyway, I'm just going to show you how to get it back if you lose it. Um, if you're like me, you don't really use too much data, which, you know, on here I only have 2 gigs on this line. Um, yeah, then this doesn't really matter. Just use 4G whenever you need it. So this is what that video is for. Anyway, let's go ahead and just get right into it. So go to settings, go to system settings, more settings, and mobile networks. And you want to, let's see, go to network operators, go to default setup, hit manual, okay, and just wait for it to say AT&T, T-Mobile, whatever. So kind of similar to the last video, just, yeah. And I guess you don't need to restart your device, just select the carrier, I guess. Um, I think that the uh, Galaxy Note 2 and the S3 is optimized mainly in the US for AT&T or T-Mobile. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the i9300 model because it's an international model. And like I said, I haven't actually tried this on that, so I don't know. But this will let you do 4G on T-Mobile at least, or Simple Mobile, or see straight talk with T-Mobile so yeah but if you're gonna go with like some like straight talk just get the AT&T one because you'll be able to get 4G anyway so where it says searching it can actually take a little bit um, so you kinda just have to be patient okay now it says T-Mobile okay Registering on T-Mobile, and you should be able to get 4G. Should pop up in a second. So go to your internet browser. Say OK. Yes, I already did that. It's already blah blah blah. So for it to say 4G, it says 4G. And quickly use the data, and now I'm on 4G. Let's go ahead and do data. Speed test, blah blah blah. Just gonna test the data real quick. And as you can see, I'm at 10.29 megabits per second, uh, which is pretty, pretty high, much higher than. Uh, 3G, which I think stops at 7 megabits per second. In the area I'm in for uh, 1900 MHZ only supports 3G, and uh, it's actually around 3 to 5 megabits per second for 3G in my area. So this is actually 4G on T-Mobile without rooting or anything like that. I'm just going to go into my applications. As you can see, no root applications, no anything like that. And my bootloader is locked. This is just stock Galaxy S3 from AT&T. Um, if this video helps you out at all, uh, go ahead, comment, rate, subscribe in the box below. Uh, follow me on Twitter at 6 tally 0 And um, if I can figure out some sort of fix where 4G doesn't go away after a certain amount of time, um, I'll just keep you updated on that. Then again, I'm probably not going to keep this Galaxy S3 for much longer. Um, but if I come across it again, I'll keep you updated. But also, this should work on other AT&T unlocked phones that are Android-based or whatever. Um, when I get to my work, 
round three this afternoon. I'll try this on the HTC One X we have there. And um, yeah, see if it works. Okay, see ya.